The universe is huge. The observable universe is currently estimated to be about 93 billion light years in diameter, which consists of at least hundreds of billions of galaxies like our Milky Way. Each of these galaxies has over billions of stars, and at least that number of planets. Humans on Earth had evolved over the years. They came a long way from starting a fire with stones, to sending a rocket into space. According to researchers, planet Earth might not be the only planet that supports life, with all those galaxies and planets out there, they are sure more advanced civilization exists outside our solar system. The next 100 years of science will determine whether we as humans will expand our reach, or wipe out our existence. In this video, we will look at the types of civilization that might exist outside our solar system. Before starting the video, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified about all the latest uploads from my channel. In 1964, Russian astrophysicist Nikolai Kardashev figured out that civilizations can be categorized by the total amount of energy available to them. He created the Kardashev scale, a method of measuring how advanced a civilization's technological achievements are, based on the amount of energy harnessed by the civilization. It has three base classes, each with an energy disposal level. Type 1, Type 2 and Type 3. Other astronomers have extended the scale to Type 4 and Type 5 civilization. The Earth is currently a Type 0 civilization. Unfortunately, we haven't quite made it to Type 1 yet. According to famous American scientist Carl Sagan, we are currently at about 0.7 on our way to a Type 1 civilization. A Type 1 civilization, also known as the planetary civilization, would be slightly more advanced than our own planet. It will have the capacity to harness all the energy of its home planet, humans will have the power to control natural forces like volcanoes, weather and even earthquakes. According to physicist Michio Kaku, it'll take another 100 or 200 years for us to get to Type 1 civilization. The Type 2 civilization will be able to harness the power of its entire star, in our case the Sun. Building a megastructure, also known as a Dyson Sphere, around the Sun, will help us collect all the energy of the star, and send it back to Earth. Researchers predict that it might take about 1,000 to 2,000 years for us to reach a Type 2 civilization. The Type 3 civilization will be able to populate and harness the power of an entire galaxy. The scale of technology available at that time would be something beyond our current understanding and imagination. The civilization would span the entire galaxy, colonizing and controlling numerous systems. They will be able to control all the stars in a galaxy and might even learn to draw energy from a black hole. According to researchers, it might take another 100,000 years for us to reach a Type 3 civilization. Humans might probably disappear by that time, evolving into some kind of post-biological cybernetic beings. Kardashev believed that a Type 4 civilization was too advanced and didn't go beyond Type 3 on his scale, but other researchers believe there is a further level that could be achieved. According to them, a Type 4 civilization also known as a universal civilization, will be capable to harness the energy of the whole universe. They will be able to travel between galaxies, destroy them or make new ones, the universe will be a child's playground to them. The Type 5 civilization will be able to draw power from multiple universes. They will be able to jump from one universe to another, create parallel universe or destroy one. They can easily be able to bend space-time, and the laws of physics won't apply to them. Basically the beings of that civilization will have unimaginable power and ability, they will be superhuman creatures to us. Humans are far away from ever reaching anything like this. Our first step towards reaching a Type 1 civilization is to take care of our tiny planet, stop all wars, and continue to invest in scientific advances and discoveries. That's all for today, thanks for watching, have a good day.